Hello everybody. Welcome to Simply Word in 5. Today we are going to talk about variant in C++17. So let's first see what and why about the standard variant. So if you see the definition of variant in uh, standards, you can see uh, that variant is a type shape union and it's present in the header variant. Uh, so let's see uh, why there is a need for a new uh, type of union. So the drawbacks with union uh, were like you have to call the constructor and destructor for the contain type on your own and you cannot know what is the currently uh, used or contained type in the union. So these drawbacks are fixed in variant uh, so that the variant calls the destructor for its contain type uh, when a value for a different type is about to be stored in the variant and uh, then there are helper functions provided in the standard library itself uh, for checking the type of the currently hold value in the variant. Uh, now let's see how do you construct and initialize a variant. So let's start with a simple example of var1. Uh, here you can see the templatized um, declaration of this variable. So it can contain either int or a float. Uh, so if you don't uh, initialize it to anything, uh, then by default it will be initialized to the, uh, the type uh, of the contained value uh, would be int. Uh, in this case because the first type here uh, that you have used in declaration is int and so here uh, that will and again that int will be uh, initialized to value 0. So if you initialize var1 to 12.33 float then it will uh, obviously initialize uh, var1 to contain a float uh, with value 12.33. In case of a user defined class like student here uh, if you want to initialize uh, if you or if you want to create a vari variant uh, which contains either a student object or an int or a float uh, then there is no default constructor available for uh, the student class uh, so you have to use uh, again a helper class or struct uh, defined in standard very uh, standard, standard library uh, to initialize uh, such variable um, with uh, default values. So here you can see an example uh, of initializing variable one with uh, uh, containing student or int or a float. Let's see uh, how do you access the values in variant uh, using the helper functions. So you can use uh, standard gate function for accessing the value. Uh, you can use either a type based access or an index based access uh, as you can see here. So var1 has a value of int 10. Uh, so you can pass either int as a templatized parameter or 0 as an index uh, to std gate. There is also an std uh, gate if uh, which is much safer. The difference is uh, it accepts a pointer to the variant as an input and it returns the pointer to the contained value. So here it will return the pointer to int uh, as you can see in the uh, very simple example here. Uh, let's see another interesting function called as holds under alternative. So this function checks uh, if the variant holds the uh, specified alternative or not. So if you have a variant and at some uh, latest stage in your program, if you want to find out if it holds a float or an int, uh, you can check that by using uh, holds alternative function. So here you can see initially the holds alternative will be true for float. Uh, and when you change the value uh, it to store it store an int in it, uh, you can uh, the holds alternative will return true for int. And finally, let's see a very interesting exception. Uh, similarly, for optional and other newly introduced types, um, there is a bad variant access exception. Uh, like we have bad optional access, there is also a bad variant access exception. And this is uh, thrown. This ex this can this uh, type of exception um, is thrown when you try to access a uh, variant uh, for wrong type or for a wrong index. Uh, so here you can say uh, see std gate um, if it uh, std gate is used here for variant one uh, var one, and if it uh, doesn't contain the value at index zero uh, or it doesn't contain an int, uh, you can have uh, have a bad variant access so basically these are the five uh, key things uh, so we talked about bad variant access uh, we talked about whole shelter function uh, we saw how to access the value uh, we saw how the to construct and, and initialize a 
function uh, how to construct and initialize a variant and we also saw what is the need for uh, where declare having a variant uh, in standard library so and here you can see a simple uh, I have uh, put more uh, examples of uh, playing around, around with variant in the github repository uh, so you can go ahead and check it out so thanks for watching and hope this helps